think it's time to blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Hey everybody, Roso here. This is uh, another Oso cast. Shock, shock, surprise. So, I have some really, really good news and I'm so happy that it's finally happened. I finally have a job. That's right, a job. So basically, with this job, I will be working in a printing store. And basically, 95% of the stuff that they do with this store is silk screening and shirts and such. So, I'll be making t-shirts. It's pretty cool, actually. So. I'm really looking forward to starting. I got the job this morning and I start tomorrow morning. I'm working for eight dollars an hour and after the first thirty days I get a fifty cent raise which is really cool and I'm really excited. I can't wait to start. <sighs> so in other words well for something different I saw The Mummy two, uh, 3, uh, Brendan Fraser, he's not my favorite actor, I think he's a decent actor, but, uh, nah, it wasn't that good. I basically went, I took my sister there to go see it, um, cause she was gonna go in for surgery the next day. She really enjoyed it, she thought it was a really good movie, I, I thought otherwise. I thought it was um, average compared to some of the other movies I've seen this summer. That being Iron Man, Chronicles of Narnia, Indiana Jones, The Hulk, Hellboy, Batman, and hopefully uh, Tropic Thunder soon. Because I really want to go see that movie, but uh, I haven't gotten a chance to go see it yet. <laughs> yes. But, uh,. Yeah, basically the movie, it starts off, um, it goes and says the origin of the Dragon Emperor, which was nothing special, it was like, oh, he wanted power, so he got it, but in return, he lost his humanity. Like they, like always, so whatever. And then Brendan Fraser as, what's his face, and his wife, who's a completely different actress from the other two movies, go off to stop the mummy after they accidentally raise it by accident. So, whatever. Uh, if I had to rate this movie, I'd give it a... on a grading scale, like A, B, C, D, and F, like a, like a school grading scale. I'd give it a a C, because it was just an average movie. Okay, so, uh, I'm really looking forward to Mega Man 9, and I've been playing Mega Man in bass, or bass, or whatever, or as some people like to call them, call the game Rockman and Forte. Um, that's much harder than the other ones. I realize that. Um, the bosses are much, much harder to beat. I had a hell of a lot of trouble with, um, uh, what's his face? Astro Man or Cosmic Man or the one from Mega Man 8. He was tough. Uh, I didn't know how to beat him. So until I got the Magic Man ability, the Magic Cards, which is kind of a stupid ability. But whatever. Um, that game's pretty fun. I'm almost finished with it. I'm having trouble with, uh, King at the end of the game before you fight Wily, I'm guessing. So, I mean, come on, there's eight Mega Man games out. How many times have you not fought Wily at the end? So, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say Wily is the final boss. So, whatever. I also got this new game for my iPod. Well, two new games. I got Sonic the Hedgehog for the iPod, which is a pretty good game. I mean, it's a Sega Genesis Sonic the Hedgehog game. It's no different, it's just the controls are a bit, bit more difficult. Um, since there's no D-pad, you control left and right with the forward and backwards button. 
you crouch by pressing down and you jump by pressing the center center cir uh, center circle so um, it's not bad it's just it's Sonic the Hedgehog there's no difference I also got this game called phase it's basically dance dance revolution for your iPod or guitar hero for your iPod whatever but uh it's it's surprisingly fun basically you can import your own library which is really cool and you you tap it out you like it it taps with the rhythm let's uh eh, it's not going to work cuz you won't be able to see it but uh yeah for four dollars it's really worth it um, if you have a, a iPod Nano third generation, iPod Classic or an iPod fifth generation I would highly recommend you to go out and buy this game if you like Guitar Hero it, it's, it's really fun it's a good way to kill a lot of time too but it, uh, it could get pretty difficult and frustrating if you um, miss a couple notes you're fucked so yeah now when you're playing well okay also get sung summer that game's awesome yeah i can't wait to start my new job it's going to be awesome oh and by the way portal comes out portal portal spore comes out soon God, where the fuck did i pull portal from well yeah uh spore comes out i think the ninth of September. I want to play that game. I might not be able to get it right away though. So hey, well maybe I might be able to with my new job. But um, yeah, I want to play that game. It looks like fun. <sighs> what else? What else? What else? Hmm. Um. Well, you know what? I think that's all for now. I will um uh, catch you later. This has been Drew Oso for the Oso Cast. I'll see you next time.